Hey, welcome back. Dosti here with another Dosti's View. It is the week before Christmas, so before I forget about it, Merry Christmas. Uh, most of you are probably enjoying winter already. I haven't yet, because uh, I'm uh, in Colorado where they seem to use the metric system, meaning, uh, well, they, they talk about inches of snow coming in, but we tend to get centimeters. That's why I say it's the metric system here. And um, while there is sufficient snow locally to go skiing, um, not everything is open. It's definitely thin coverage. I'm extremely jealous of my friends in Tahoe who got five to seven feet last week. I I've got a friend in the Black Hills who got four feet of snow um, let's see, Tay was telling me that Salt Lake got 70 inches, so uh, that's five feet. Uh, it was all blower, that's, that's going to settle down to two feet, but that's two feet more than we got here, or at least 18 inches more than we got here. Um, I think I'm going to make some turns soon. But today, I just wanted to talk about what's new with Lynx. Uh, which is one of the great two-pin Telemark NTN bindings that's available. And um, as a journalist, I like to document all the changes that go on in Lynx. So by my accounting, um, going into uh, the 23 winter, they're up to at least version 4. But finally, this... Is, this is an official version two of Lynx. There was the beta version, and then uh, the real version, and then there were some changes made. Uh, here's the thing, it's, it's, it's like any good manufacturer, if they're not constantly refining the product, either they have finally reached maturity where there's, there's nothing left to do except maybe come out with a new product, um, or uh, when there are significant changes, then they do announce uh, a version change. And I would say most of the changes that have occurred to Lynx so far have not changed the basic functionality. In fact, this new version doesn't change the functionality at all, but it is no longer backwards compatible, okay? And uh, the main thing that is new for uh, 23 uh, the 22-23 season, is that now Lynx is offering soft plates. Um, and there was a little bit of um, disbelief on, on the part of some people, but uh, I have said more than once that Lynx is arguably the most active telemark binding out there, even potentially more active than Outlaw. Um, it's not a huge difference, but I think it's noticeable. I think a lot of other people have noticed. And so that has actually dissuaded some people who are coming from 75 millimeter and they find that NTN in general is just, uh, it's too active. It's too different from what they're used to. And so there's a quest for coming up with something that is softer and uh, from uh, the 22 Designs family, um, the best you can do to make it soft is uh, get an outlaw and, um, and dial it down, okay? And, and with Lynx, um, since the dominant part of the flex is determined from the flex plate, not from the springs, not that they don't have an effect, but the... the, the the plate, the flex plate, is the dominant part, uh, especially at the initiation of, of a turn, which is really what defines um, the sensation of how active a binding is. They have now come out with softy plates. And what they intended to do originally, and I got some prototypes on it, is they cut holes in the two plates. And this definitely softened things up, but it had a negative side effect. <laughs> These these holes in the plates, um, they're snow traps. So it, uh, it snow collected there and you could get boot jack, all right? So um, they did away with that. It, there's no cutouts in their softy plates, but their softy plates are thinner 
It's not a huge, now this is not a soft, this is not a real softy plate. This is a prototype softy plate. Your, um, their standard plate for a size large is 90 thousandths thick. The softy is um, 10 mils thinner. It's 80 thousandths thick. The standard thickness of a short um, lengths is 80 thousandths, so their softy is 70 thousandths. So for those of you who like lengths but think it's a little bit too active or you're considering lengths and you don't want a really active binding but you want to be uh, buying into the 22 Designs family, then you probably going to want to get the softy plates and uh, they're an additional $32, okay? So it's not a huge uh, increase in price. And if you um, already have your links and you like them, but you're, you're wishing you could dial them down a little bit, you can get the softy plates, all right? Now, what's different for uh, fiscal year, for calendar year 23 and forward? This is the, the new uh, uh, officially acknowledged version two of the links. What is different, now you might be able to see it here. I'll, I'm going to hold this up close to the lens. You see how there's a little cut out there? It gets narrower right back here. All right. So that's about a millimeter on either side. And what they did um, moving forward uh, from uh, January 23 on is they made the overall plate a couple millimeters narrower, all right? Which means if you put it in an older version, uh, 22 and earlier uh, links, it's going to slop around from side to side. And um, if you get the new links, this is your first links or your upgrading from maybe uh, uh, the very first version of Lynx before all the incremental changes that have occurred in the last three years, um, you, um, your old plates will not move forward into the new one. So a couple things come out of that. That means that, so with it being narrower, there's less material. So that also uh, adds to uh, further softening of the flex stiffness of the main plate um, and but it also means that the sidewalls on the base plate are a little bit thicker because they didn't want to also have to redo um, the activity bar so that's remained consistent so theoretically that makes the base plate a little bit stronger not like there was any known weakness to it anyway but there's one other thing so um, these arms of the the two pins these are uh there's a pin that's pressed in to uh this bracket here that holds the arms and they decided not that this was a regular occurrence but occasionally those pins would slide out Mejo noticed that early on um, and so pierre had to make some changes on his end what 22 designs decided to do um, is instead of just pressing a pin in and uh, I mean, in probably 98% of the cases, that's good enough. But for that rare occurrence where the pin slides out, they decided to rivet those in. So now it's solid bomber isn't going to come out. Uh, no how, no way. So that's really what's new for links. Softer flex plates as, a, as an option. And um, the base plate is slightly different dimensions. It's a little bit narrower for um, the plate profile. So it's no longer backwards compatible, at least between plates. Um, the, uh, the, the compression springs underneath are the same. Um, the improved um, springs on the two pin assembly are good and solid. So, and it has a really strong snap. So if you've been thinking you want to uh, upgrade to NTN, or maybe you're in NTN already, but you want true Dean efficient touring, Lynx is a really good way to go. And from uh, January 23 forward, it's now version two. And so if you decide to get softy plates for your older Lynx, 20, year 22 or earlier, 
you need to make sure you specify the 22 minus version. And if you're buying a new Lynx for this season and you think the standard plates are a little bit too stiff, make sure you get the 23 plus softy plates. And it's only 32 bucks more. Um, what else? Oh, and other news, if you hadn't heard already, you know, there's been uh, supply chain problems throughout the world on all kinds of things. And it hit the Telemark world hard this year. Um, Telemark boots from Scarpa have been slow to arrive. Like for most people, there's no arrival. But Freehill Life got their shipment this week. So if you've been kind of waiting to uh, upgrade or replace your Telemark boots, now's the time to act. If you're thinking that you want to wait for the next generation boot, well, it's going to test your patience. So <laughs> if your current boots are about to give out, don't wait. If your current boots are doing okay and you think you're going to last another two or three years, maybe more, we really don't know. Um, yeah, you can, you, can, you can wait. But if you're kind of at a critical juncture, don't wait. Get new boots, all right? Uh, you'll be glad you did. Um, the performance improvements are totally worth the cost. And um, uh, that's it for, for this week's view. I uh, hope you get out there and ski. I still haven't, but I'm going to. So, and I hope to have a report next time on how my F1 upgrade uh, actually panned out. Did I, uh, did I get rid of too much hardware or is it doing what I want it to do? And so I hope to be able to uh, give you an update on that, if not the next time, the time after that. And, uh, and, and until then, Make sure you get out there, drop a knee, and spread telemark.